You know, it's gonna be very painful and difficult for me to play um, the City of Dual Destiny simply because uh, there will be times where I will be forced to beat Yuna and Tifa into a bloody pope, and I just don't want to do that. But oh well. And using a uh, Yuna is kind of fun, and Tifa too. Tifa kicks ass, and she has a victory pose from the game naturally. So, all right, but we're playing 10-2 right now. Now I've been told that um, that that I was supposed to confuse him in order for him to use um. To use my mighty guard on, on myself so I can learn it. And oh, okay. Okay, there we go. 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 Thank you uh, for posting that. Uh, someone posted on my last episode that you have to confuse Garrick in order for him to, in order for him to use a uh, mighty guard on you. See, I, I didn't know that. I told you. I, I don't know everything about this uh, this uh, second game. Unfortunately, Yuna is the only one that has access to confuse right now. It's not. It doesn't take that long to learn it. So, so that's how you do that. Okay. Uh, can we get turn to? Uh... No, she can't. Okay. So that's what you have to do. You have to you have to confuse him, and then he use mighty guard on you. It still might it still might uh might take a while, unfortunately. So thank you whoever posted that on my last uh, episode. So after after. Have unit as a dark knight. Confuse him. So I have to confuse him as a dark knight with Yuna. Then after that, I have to quickly, I have to quickly get her back into her um, her her blue maze so she can learn it before he uses it on her. He stays confused for a while unless he attacks himself. And her blue maze is actually kind of sexy. I love it. There we go. So now Yuna and Pain both have Mighty Guard as a blue maze. That's going to be very, very, very helpful. So once again, uh, thank you, um... All right, for whoever posted that on the last episode, I didn't know that. I mean, I I, knew, I know what Confuse does, but but I just I never thought about using it on him. See, for starters, he's a boss, you know. And I told you I haven't played this game in the meantime as I played the second one, so I never thought of using that on him before. So thank you for whoever posted that. For, that really helped out. And now uh, let's just dispose of him. Remember um, when I had that game over a couple of episodes ago in, in my in the woods? I still haven't gone back and, and, and redid the things I had to do, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this off screen now, right? We'll be back. I don't know. I, I told you, I don't know what it is, but there's something really, really sexy about Yuna's uh, Dark Knight uh, outfit. I really, really love it. Probably the way she shakes her ass in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's something about it. I just really love it. I'm such a pervert. <laughs> I'm such a fucking pervert. <laughs> a 
Okay, did you see that? He, he just... That... That... Those two just appeared out of thin air. Three targets. Good. A lot of uh, ability points here. Stronger than you thought, huh? Uh, looks like this right here, uh, every time you come back to the airship, looks like that's actually a cutscene that you can't skip if you want the one in Please see that? It says skip cutscene, so, looks like we can't skip that. That's part of the 100%, unfortunately. Well, I think it is, I don't know. It is a cutscene, so let's not skip any of those. Anyways, I was saying, uh, now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna go back and, uh, do that, um, that PR thing in the Mehem High Road. Let's go! I'm really, really sorry for only doing these like once a week lately. Uh, my uh, Super Mario uh, RPG hack has really, really, really. I've been working on it like crazy. But it's almost done now. I should be done with it within another week. Alright, here we have uh, two more of the um, PR uh, girls here. And this one's kind of cute right here. I like that one. Alright, this chick here who looks like Velucha. According to this, you have to pick option one for both uh, options. And uh, um, by the way, uh, this is uh, chapter three. It says choose option one for for both of them for this one. Find your better half. She seems really excited. Okay. Now for this chick right here, for for the it says choose option two for the first one, and for the matchmaking, it says choose option five. Do you believe in destiny? She seems really excited. She's uh, kind of cute, okay? I like her legs. <laughs> I'm such a fucking pervert! <laughs> okay, for this Albert chick right here. For this Austin, you choose number four. I lost 30 pounds with open air. She seems totally pumped, okay. And for this matchmaking, it says choose option two. I have the perfect person for you. She seems really excited, okay? Okay, for this dude right here. It says choose option two. They seem totally pumped, but you don't you don't seem excited. Just still just chilling. Shut up, dog. Got some Chinese up in here. All right, this dude right here. Come on, there we go. Says here choose option one. The fun of wish you in the open air. I guess that's a clue because he is just sitting by looking in the, in the open air and the sea and stuff. So. Going back to Rin's Academy. Okay, for the chick right here. It says choose option 2 for the first one. They seem totally pumped. For the matchmaking, it says choose option 4, I believe. Is this what this thing says? Yeah, choose option 4. The man of your dream awakes. She seems really excited. All right, this dude right here it says choose option three for the um, for the you know fun stuff. They seem totally pumped. All right, and we're done here. Okay, for this chick right here, for the publicity, it says choose option four. I lost thirty pounds. Okay, she seems totally pumped. And for the matchmaking, it says choose option one. Find your better half. She seems really excited. Okay, moving along. And note that uh, that particular girl I was talking to, she appears in that spot in chapters 1, 2, and 3, but uh, she's nowhere in chapter... I dropped a con spirit down there. <laughs> oh, she, uh, she's nowhere in chapter 4, and chapter 5 should be around here somebody, somewhere, so that's very, very tricky. Alright, for this dude right here, says choose option 2. They seem totally pumped. Uh. Is this a uh, Dorum from uh, Bliss Ball? She looks just like Dorum from Bliss Ball, which is uh, she also happens to be the cutest girl in Bliss Ball. For the matchmaking, it says, uh, "What's that? What's this thing say?" 
Uh, for the mess, Megan says she's also one, finding a better house, she seems really excited. And for the fun stuff, it says choose option four. I lost 30 pounds. Yeah, this is a. Uh, she looks like Doran from um from Blissball. Okay. And going all the way down to the end. For this dude right here. It says choose option three. Alright. And for this one right here, it says choose option one. Alright. All right, and we're done with this uh, PR stuff for this episode. Um, hopefully, I should have enough to uh, to stop doing it completely because I told you I just do not like this uh, PR stuff. It's just not fun at all. Those uh, other two missions um, that I need to uh, redo because I had that game over last time, I'm gonna go ahead and do them now. So I'll meet you back on the uh, back on the airship. Oh, there's a turbo steer here. Look at me, unit. Nothing happened between me and Gipple. Got it? Hmm. You better be right about that, Riku. You belong to me. Me! Alright, let's move this along. Uh, I think I did everything uh, that I had to redo. Let me see here. Uh... Okay, and according to the guy, we also have to, we, we actually have to we have to see this. According to the guy, we have to come into the ruins here and look at Shimmer and Star in that consphere. I don't know if that's actually required, but according to the guy, it is. So just do it for safekeeping. Okay, I think that's enough small stuff for now. Let's get on with the main stuff. We're gonna take a little trip to. Besaid, we're going back home for some very unpleasant, disturbing news. And there's our little friend Shimon starting the Comsphere again. Every time I move, he moves. What, where, where are you going? Where are you going to put the damn thing? Just put it somewhere, please. There's a garment grid down there in the Bisset. But I don't think it's really worth it because you have to do a lot of shit to get it. And I just don't feel like it. Only thing it does is uh, it lets you, uh, you uh, use Confused. But I got a Dark Knight for that, so I'm not going to worry about it. And it gives you like Berserk Touch and Berserk stuff. But I don't need that, really. All right, so let's see how let's see what's going on here in Bisay. Uh Okay, I forgot. I have to uh, speak to Lulu first to uh, to trigger this thing. How you doing, Lulu? I missed you, baby. Yeah. The fiends? They're coming from inside the temple. But it's all right. Waka and the others fought them off. Luckily, no one was hurt. Guess your friendly neighborhood gold wings won't be needed. Any fiends they missed may still be wandering around. Waka and the rest split up to track them down. Give them a hand. The Gullwings are on the job. We'll even give you our special bargain price. That's nice. <laughs> Sorry, Lulu. That's okay. It's all right. Now go. Take a look around. People in the village will feel better knowing you're here, Yuna. What's a bargain price? Come on, this is her home. Do it for free for fuck's sake. Yeah, you have to, uh... What the... What you have to? Installing a commsphere. You never know when you might need a commsphere. A new invention of yours? Huh. Shindra, would you fall and get the boo boo? Here's the perfect guinea pig. <laughs> Oh, I can see Yuna! Huh? The commsphere transmits an image back to the airship. Oh, neat. Oh, more, more! <laughs> I'll ask nine. <laughs> Uni! Uni! Something's up! Here's the 
perfect guinea pig. <laughs> What's there to decide, Walker? We can finish off the fiends right here and now. Oh, that asshole again. Yeah, burning down a temple is going too far. You have another suggestion? The, ah. We have to do something. What if the fiends keep coming? Or maybe you don't mind putting your family in danger. Hey, all we gotta do is stop the fiends, yeah? Okay, he uh, he means well, but you know as well as I do that, you know is uh, not gonna have it with this uh, temple being burnt down. So yeah, he means well, but but we're not gonna burn down the temple, not yet anyway. <laughs> it's the perfect guinea pig. I told you, this game's uh more about the cutscenes than uh than the game itself. Walker's inside fighting fiends. It would be so simple to burn this place down and take the fiends with it. Praying to them never did anyone any good. You're the one who destroyed Sin. You should know. Going to help him? I won't wait much longer. You want to see it burn that badly? It's for the safety of the village. The phase that appeared and when Unit first became a summoner, we know, we know, we know, we gotta stop that. Okay. Uh, it says uh, stop it before you burn the temple, but I don't think you're on the time limit. Something like that, I don't know. Yeah, he, uh, he means well, but, you know, but we're not gonna burn down the temple. He's, he's not... There's a there's a difference between being evil and being an asshole. He, he he's he's not evil. He's just an asshole. But he but he means well. All right, so uh, we're back in the cluster of trials. We never thought we'd come here again. Yeah. Fortunately, this time we don't have to open up any of these puzzles. We just have to. Uh... Oh, I forgot. The reason why I'm not having fighting fiends is because I got the charm bacon one. This time we just have to fight fiends. Uh, what am I gonna put on? Mm. Yeah, what am I gonna put on that? Just, just put some, just put something on. Diamond gloves. Okay. We don't have to do any puzzling this time around. We just have to fight fiends here. And uh, there's Walker. There we go. Fiends are inside the temple. This is an outrage. And whoa, what do we have here? Ghost. Go back to hell. Thank you. Once again, I am kind of over leveled for this point of the game, unfortunately. Blue ring. You know, there's really, there's really no point in me uh, fighting these monsters here because it's just a waste of my time, really. Two man springs. Uh, this is where you get the uh, distressing sphere in the first game, and then you have to take it over there to the corner to get uh, Yuna's uh, first, um, you know, weapon thing. I miss playing the first game so much. Summoning those beautiful aeons. Speaking of which, um, Walker, you okay? Uh, just a few scratches, huh? Nothing to worry about. There are too many. Let's get out while we can. The man was right. We have to use fire. Whatever's controlling the fiends must be down there. Take that bad boy out. And we won't need fire. Fair enough. Waka, stay here. Why? Wouldn't want you to overdo it, Daddy. Hey, wait up! It was I say I like how Yuna fights in uh in, in the city. I figured I figured that that that's what she would fight. Uh, all of her attacks come from her Aeons, I believe. I just hate being into a blood poke when I have to fight her, unfortunately. And, oh, no, no, no. Not this. Anything but this. 
Not again. We have to fight our Aeon. And what's more painful, we have to fight our first. Our first Aeon, Valifor. And for those of you who, who haven't figured this out by now, Valifor is a female. Valifor is not a boy. This is a this is a female Aeon. If you uh, re revisit the temples at a certain point in the game, in the first game, you would know that, but Valifor is a female. An Aeon? No. Something's not right. Waka, stay back! It's not safe! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, Valifor, this is our first Aeon. Why do we have to do this? Why do we have to do this? The Sticky Figure is Healing Spring. Now, a lot of people don't know this. Well, you you probably know you probably know this by now. You damn sure know it if you watch my LP of, of the first game. A lot of people don't know this, but Valifor actually has two overdrives. I didn't actually learn this until playing this game. A lot of people actually uh, didn't figure this out until playing uh, this game. That Valifor actually has two overdrives. I'm talking about the first game now. I'm not talking about this game. I'm talking about the first game. This is Energy Ray. That's her first overdrive. And that's all it did? Wow, okay. Uh, I can, uh... I can, uh... Kill him when I get ready. I'm just toying with him. I, I can kill him. I can kill him in a couple of turns. I'm just toying with him right now. I just hate to beat you up, Val. For you, her first Aeon. Why do I have to do this? Sonic wings. Uh, what's taking so long? Energy Ray again? Okay. Maybe if I decrease your health, you'll, uh, that'll provoke you. Come on now, I'm waiting! I'm waiting! I like the battle music here play uh, when we fight the Aeons in the second game. I, li I like this music. But it's not better than the um, the Summon Beast battle in the in the first game. The Summon Beast battle is pretty kick ass. Which reminds me, uh, that's a that's a Yuna's uh, battle theme in the in the second game in the the city. Energy blast! What the hell is this? What the hell is this? I never seen this before. What the fuck? What is this? I've never seen that before. Okay, uh, most of us uh, learn about Valve's second old job after playing this game because you were like, "What the hell is that?" I never saw that before. You have to uh, get that in the in the first game, but that's that's Valve's second old job. She's the only AI in the game that has two old jobs, unfortunately. But enough of this. Just die. I'm sorry. I really hate to do that. That was my very first Aeon. Mm. I grew up here in Besaid. This is my home. I became a summoner here. This is where I first met you. I have to protect this place. Yuna. Hi, emotional. The job's done. I see. Glad to see you're not hurt. Or are you? Are you <laughs> going to be a father soon? What if something had happened to you? What then? Quiet, meanie! It's okay. What can I say? He's got a point. Waka. 
If we die trying to save one memory, we risk losing them all. But what if it's a really important memory? Yeah, memories are nice, but that's all they are. It's an outbed saying, yeah? Well, yeah, but... Okay, you remember that from the first game? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. Uh, now, this doesn't make any sense because, uh, see, I told you, I played the first game way too many times. Uh, Waka, when Riku said that you were already in the far plane, so how did you possibly hear her say that you was already gone when she said that? So how do you know that she said that? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Yuna! You all right? Yeah, just fine. I'll be waiting. Oh fuck. Talk about a one-track mind. Memories. Bro, you got some serious problems. Memories. Yeah. If fiends ever come out of the temple again, I may really have to burn it. Uh, I guess so. But call me before you do. We'll save fire for our last resort. You got it. Mission complete! Burning down the temple is a big no-no. We aren't going to do that. You get a moon bracer. Mission complete. No gummer grids, no just fears. That sucks. Well, I'm sorry that this episode was so short. I have other things I have to do right now. I have to cut the grass. I gotta clean my car. You know, I gotta get back on my hacking, I gotta make the next Pokemon Yield episode, so... Sorry this, that this episode was so short, but I have other things to do right now, so we will continue later on. See you guys later. Take it easy.